all right what is up everybody back today with another video and we got a cool one today um this is gonna be a uh, an initial review not really a first impressions uh i have carried this today um broken in just a little bit and um that's a really cool little knife uh so this one obviously a newer spider co the stove pipe um you know when they came out the pictures is all over everywhere really cool looking knife based off of the uh bill the butcher uh custom knife um so this is a uh production version you know kind of with spyroco's take on it as well um so you know there's there's a lot of contention i guess you could say on this knife mainly just about the price um you know, for Spyderco, it is a pretty expensive knife. Now, as far as like high-end knives in general, you know, you're mid-tier at 420 bucks. You're mid-tier, just depending on what high-end is for you. You know, some people high-end is $1,500. Some people it's 500 Some people it's $200. Um, so it, it just depends on where you're at in your knife collecting career. Um, I'm honestly pretty deep, um, pretty deep in and I'm sinking fast. <laughs> um, uh, you know, nobody told me, uh, how addictive it is, but that's okay because, um, it's a real issue. But anyways, let's get right into the knife. So, you know, if it comes in a pouch, it's a nice spider co and this is how it comes. No box. Um, you get this tag here and we'll made in Taiwan. Um, okay. Interesting. So let's get right into it here. And we'll take the thing itself out of the way. Get your sticker, get your paperwork. This is actually a really nice case. Uh, it's super soft. Um, and it would it, it hugs the knife and kind of presses in so it holds in place. Uh, so it's not like one they just threw in there like some people do, like Civivi and stuff. They're kind of cheaper. Uh, that one's felt really quality. But speaking of quality, here's what we all came for. Let me fix my lighting a little bit. There we go. So, here it is. The stovepipe. Um, this is a full titanium frame. Titanium uh, scales here. Titanium backspacer. Titanium pocket clip. I think it's even a titanium pivot. Um, with... 20 CV blade steel. Um, so just, you know, top of the line, uh, top of the line ingredients here on this uh, fillet of a knife. So you get the back spacer there, the pocket clip. Overlook my um, ugly fingernails. Uh, been a very long day at work, so I'm not gonna scrub those until the shower. <laughs> I just need to start wearing gloves in my videos, to be honest. Check it out. So, like I said, I did carry it today. Um, and this is where we're at action-wise. Really, really smooth already. Um, especially if you play with it for a second, it, it starts dropping real quick. Um, so, action. And this is uh, running on phosphor bronze washers. You see there? Um, and this is just, you know, how it came. I haven't touched the pivot. Um, I, you know, I said before in my videos, but if you haven't seen them, the way I like to, what I like to do with my knives is I get it and I'll break it in exactly how it came from the factory. Uh, maybe just add a little bit of lube, a couple drops, uh, mainly on bearing knives, add a little bit of lube. Um, and then I break it in just how it is like that. Uh, get it as smooth as it can get in that configuration. Then I disassemble it, clean it really well, and uh, put my own grease or oil in there, and then reassemble it and tune it to how I like it. Um, so, and, and when I say tuning, you know, some knife guys will say, well, I disassembled it and I tuned it just how I liked it. It's like, all right, you turn the pivot, you turn the pivot to where you like it. That, that's tuning it. You know, what did you really do? But, um, this is just a, a beautiful knife, um, to some people. Some people think it's ugly. I think it's really cool. Uh, it's something different. 
um, just out of the norm, kind of, you know, like the sumo or something. It, it, it's just something that catches your eye. You know, you pull this out, people are going to want to know what it is. Um, now, the overall fit and finish it seems very, very nice to me. Everything fits together well. Um, there's a lot of little details on the knife, like the, you know, this cut out here, uh, the pivot's very detailed, uh, like these cutouts up here, and then on the blade, like up here, that machine work, um, and, and that's something that I haven't really seen many people talk about, um, th there's a lot of fine details to this knife, um, that, that I, I really like personally. Um, the backspacer here, I, I will say, I wish they had done something on this backspacer, even if it was like, uh, just jimping, uh, some kind of pattern, like on the sumo here or something like that, just to break up the, uh, solid titanium. But in my opinion, that's the look they were going for. And that's what they wanted to do. Um, obviously cause they did it. Huh? That's what they wanted to do because they did it been a long day now this pocket clip um you know it gets a lot of hate because of the different size screws i don't mind that at all that doesn't bother me but you can see the the machining there you know just a small little relief cut you can see it's a pretty thin clip and like i said this is a titanium clip um and normally clips like this like on my pena here uh, this pena clip is pretty tight and and it's not I really like this uh, Mula, Mula, however you say it. Uh, the clip is not great, um, but the clip is surprisingly pleasant on this knife. Um, you know, when I first saw it, I was like, oh, that clip's going to suck. Um, but I had a really long day today, and I used it a decent amount. Uh, I pulled out mainly to cut straps off the back of the semi-truck. Uh, when they're getting unloaded, they'll strap the stuff down, and sometimes... Straps get caught, whatever. You got to cut the ratchet strap. Uh, and this thing, man, this slice through like butter. But uh, um, just in and out of the pocket, uh, retention it is really nice, almost on the light side. Um, but it's definitely not coming out of the pocket. So you've got really nice retention. And also, you've got a really nice uh, ramp there. Let's see if I can show it. You can see the ramp going into it there uh slides in the pocket really well and then um it catches and it holds pretty well but it's not too hard to pull out um so it's not a deep carry um but it, it sits pretty low to where you really only have that much of the knife sticking out um you don't you don't really see any of this i didn't anyways i didn't notice it um now as far as the clip being a hot spot um, I am left-handed, so for me, it's a non-issue. Uh, it actually helps me get a better grip over here. Uh, I can wrap my fingers around it and really lock into the blade. And that's another thing. This is a smaller knife. I'll do the size comparisons here in a second. Um, it's actually a really small knife. Uh, but, and I have 2XL, I wear a 2XL glove. Um, and I can get, let's see if I can show you. I can get a full four finger hold on this and I can even choke down a little bit the, the way this is shaped and I can put my pinky right there kind of hook it on the bottom and get it like that and then your thumb just flows in right there or I can choke up a little more and once I get comfortable uh, I'm not even on that I'm still up above it um, and, and see I do I kind of land right here in between so I kind of got to choose one or the other grip wise um but either one is fairly comfortable um especially for the size of the knife like i said it, it's not a knife you're gonna want to cut with you know if you if you got to cut something five ten times an hour i don't know maybe bags of concrete anything um something like that i think you should be using a utility knife if if you're using if you're using a knife that much, you get a utility knife with cheap ass blades and beat the crap out of it. Um, you know, it's not something I would consider using a pocket knife for, but maybe that's just me. Um, but yeah, in the right hand, the clip, it is a hot spot. 
I don't think it's as bad as some people made it out to be. They made it, some, somebody said they, they should call this knife the hot spot. In the right hand, I can squeeze it really tight, and yeah, it's a little bit of a hot spot, but, you know, clips the hot spot on most knives, you know, it sticks out. But overall, what I'm saying is, it doesn't stick out that much. And it's, I do like the, uh, the look of it as well. Um, so overall, just, you know, I only carried it today, but it was a really positive experience. The action has, has already broken in very, very well. Um, it flicks well. Um, the detent is pretty solid to where it's never going to shake out, but if you really want to, you can make it pop out, uh, upside down like that. Let's see it here. Um, only other complaint would be, um, you know, this is something that was kind of an issue at first. The detent, you got to get past the detent, uh, which is right there. And there's, there's no detent ramp on it. So some people were talking about that, but with the action, it, it just falls right past it for me. So, uh, that makes the detent there pretty much a non-issue, uh, cause I flick this knife open like this every time. And even if like you stop before and it gets caught on the detent here, like right there, it's on the detent you know boom gets caught you can just sling it closed uh so like i said for me detent really wasn't an issue either um i think people are just being extra critical of this knife because of the price tag and rightfully so you know 420 dollars is a lot of money and i think that the problem is it's a lot of money especially for a spider co um but you get the materials. Um, this is out of the Tai Chung Taiwan factory. You get the materials, the titanium, full titanium, uh, the 20 CV blade steel. Um, so, you know, you're getting a lot of materials and the quality is absolutely fantastic. Um, your pivot here doubles as a lock bar stop. Um, the lock bar, I, I would call it light. Um, it doesn't take a lot of pressure to move it out of the way. Uh, it's got good flex to it, but it's still got that stop. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, do a quick paper cut test then a comparison. I think that'll wrap this one up. Um, came, uh, literally shaving sharp. I mean, I could like shave my face with this thing right now. Razor sharp out of the Tai Chung Taiwan factory. Um, you know, some Super Spider Co. fans say they make the best knives. They make really good knives. Uh, I've got some really good knives out of that factory. I've got some really good knives out of Colorado, too. But the fit and finish on this knife, absolutely no blade play. It's got that bank vault lockup. You can just hear it. You know, it, it's a really solid knife. Uh, and I think for the money, I'm not mad at it at all. So, um, it, 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 the thing is, if you like this design, if you're a fan of this design, you have the funds and you're in and you want to get your money's worth, I definitely think you are, um, you're getting a really, really nicely made knife from a reputable brand. You get the materials, uh, you get the fit and finish and you get the cool factor. Um, and this is actually a pretty fidgety little knife, uh, with the action on it. So yeah, overall, um, I really like this little knife. It's, it's got its quirks. It's got its things. It could have been better. Sure. But every knife can be when you're sitting there criticizing it for what you like. That's the thing. I think a lot of people criticize knives, um, for what they like. They don't think about what the manufacturer is looking at. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think it's a cool knife. I like it overall. And uh, I would recommend it. So that's going to wrap that up. Um, we might see a long-term review on this one in the future. Um, I've got a couple knives I need to do long-term reviews on. Not something I've really done before, but uh, I'll be interested to get into it. So uh, I've got this one next. I'm looking at uh, getting the Zero Tolerance 393 Glow Carbon Fiber. Um, yeah, just another ZT. 
But uh, yeah, it's going to wrap this one up. Appreciate y'all watching. Have a great day.